Welcome to the Show Me Vax training on how to update clinic or staff information for your clinic. Um, using your Show Me Vax login, we're going to log into the system. Once you're logged in, you're going to come over here to the blue navigational panel. We're going to go to Clinic Tools and click. Uh, we're going to click on Clinic Information. And to update an address or a name of your clinic, you would click on your address or name, put the effective date, um, change the name. Uh, make sure there is a valid email. We do not want a generic email. This must be usually the primary VFC person um, because any information that we send out to clinics um, then this is the information, um, for, especially for VFC providers, that information goes to that primary contact person. If you are not a Vaccines for Children program provider, um, please give a good email um, of somebody that if there's an issue that uh, we need to contact that person. If you change, if your clinic has moved, you can change or has a new mailing address, you can put that information in, um, in there as well. And then we're just going to click create to update that information. Contact information, um, that's phone numbers and fax numbers. Um, you got a primary number and a secondary number. If you are for Vaccines for Children program providers, if you are the primary person that handles the VFC, please put your um, direct line or area where you work um, in there as well um, so we can contact you in a more timely manner. Delivery hours for Vaccines for Children's program. This is the hours that you can receive vaccine. Um, my recommendation is that you do 9 to 12 and then 1 to 4, even though um, you may open at 8 and don't close till 5. Um, this way, this kind of gives you a little buffer between um, an hour in the morning and an hour at the end of the day um, for receiving vaccines at that time. And, and at lunch, too, even though your clinic may not close uh, at lunchtime, um, it's better to go ahead and just put that you're closed to receive that vaccine. And that way, if for some reason one day there is a closure and um, everybody is gone and you do receive vaccine during that time and you said you would be open, you could be responsible for replacing that vaccine. And staff. Um, if you need to update your staff, and we ask that you keep this um, very current, um, to add new staff people, then you would just click on add new uh, contact. And then you would choose the contact type. Maybe it's a physician. Or if it's a VFC primary or VFC backup person that has changed, then you would just choose that. You would fill out all the required information and then you would hit create um, when you're done. It's probably going to cancel. I'm not going to update because I don't have any updates to make. Um, once your VFC primary or your VFC backup person has completed their um, educational VFC training, they can upload their certificates that they received by clicking on edit and then scrolling down to where it says training section. And then you click on add training. Um, then you choose the training um, that they have completed, whether it was VFC 411, they did the You Call the Shot Storage and Handling module, or the You Call the Shots VFC module. So we're going to say You Call the Shots VFC module, uh, the date that it was completed. And then you would have to scan um, your uh, certificate that you would receive after you complete those modules through CDC to your computer and save it as a PDF file. And then you would just choose your file wherever you saved it on your computer. Open. And then just click Save. And then this will um, add the training and it will also notify the VFC program that you have completed um, a training for your to go towards your VFC educational training for the year. And that concludes updating your clinic or staff information and show me backs. Thank you.